Hello, it is Tuesday, October 18th, 2011 at 3.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And I wanted to show you something that I came across on the um, College of DuPage infrared satellite image. I was cycling through watching this weather down by Guatemala and, and what was happening in Key West down here and some clouds over here. And when I was looking at this frame, this ring that shows up on this one image, it lines up with earthquakes that have happened recently in the United States, here across central United States, in Arkansas. The first one occurring October 17th at 49 GMT. This one yesterday in Oklahoma City, or last night. This one in New Mexico, October 17th at 1638, and then these at um, Arizona, Nevada, first one occurring October 17th, 1614, and I would suppose this would still be in the same lineup also, this 2.1 on October 18th at 2036 GMT. Now these are all after that ring, but it's interesting that they just all happen to fall on that same line, right in here. So here's Arkansas, Oklahoma City, the one in New Mexico, the one in Nevada, Arizona, and the other one in California. So while I'm here, I'll just kind of briefly show you what I'm looking at. I've got to get it to um, go through with my cursor, hopefully, here. There we go. So here's where those rings are. Immediately after, after the rings, here, you'll see this cloud move this way. And as I cycle through, you'll see that it, it wasn't, it's, it's right down in here. And you'll see it was kind of starting to just kind of go head mostly straight up and then not that one. Here's the secondary flash right here. Now, there it goes, and then it swings to the east pretty severely, I'd, I'd say. I was looking at, here's your, the Hurricane Jova and, um, I can't, Irwin, I think was the um, Tropical Depression, whatever the Tropical Depression was that was occurring at the same time. You'll see this one split up this way, and this one split up this way. But, see this line in here? I find that to be very odd. And as it progresses, see how it, get, it thickens right at that point, and pieces of it break off. So this actually goes that way, and this actually goes this way, towards Key West. Here's another reading. Now this one's higher in the United States. This is October 13th at 2100. It would be interesting to see if there were earthquakes that occurred along that line anywhere closer to that date. I'm going to go ahead and cycle through. And I watched a film about Guatemala, the mess they had down there. Right here is Guatemala. And what's interesting here is I'm watching down in here. They also have one of those lines come in, see right here? And then it splashes apart like, um, I don't know, it looks like something long hit, a big string hit the ocean and it splashes up on both sides of it. And right here it got thicker, just like the one up here did. And then you can see the storm clouds building here. I guess they just got a ton of rain. And then I always find these holes to be suspicious when there's when there's a hole, as if something's dropped through the clouds. And then right after that everything explodes. See right in here? There's the hole. Actually the, the for some reason we got six o'clock happening twice, and that that happens all the time on this map. All six o'clocks happen twice and you don't get a nine o'clock. 
but let's go ahead and see the explosion of rain or the clouds. Now going back up into here, see the V? There's been a lot of V's lately. Storms form a V. Almost everything has a point, and that's that's not a normal occurrence where you've got a point leading the way. And there's those marks, and now you see that cloud swing right. And this is almost a straight line too. Not in line with what everything else is doing. It's out of place. And this is something that's coming from the radar. I can't figure this out. It looks like this goes from here to here, and then at a 180. I think these go at a 180. So this half circle goes this way, and this half circle goes this way. But what is this? Why is this line here? Um, I don't know. Anyway, there's also a dotted line that goes all the way down here. It looks like the edge of something because it remains constant. So we're back at the beginning. I'm going to watch in here. See how it looks like there's interference happening right in here? It almost looks like something blew, like a shotgun blew holes and things. There's more. I think it got more severe right here. And that's what's going up into here. Once that hits these, this line of clouds, it splashes up again. And then we've got this with the dark area, which I talked about in another video. That was the one about um, Hurricane Jova. Those That appeared in during that period, time period. I'm going to go ahead and just let this cycle through a few times so you can see it. Fortunately, we lose our time stamp here. Let's see if I can maybe go up. There we go. Now we're at the beginning. That's it. God bless you. Have a good day.